Now, proceed na tayo sa polynomials. Nung grade 7 kayo, na-discuss na yung long division. So, i recall natin siya. So, kapag meron tayong x cubed plus 6x squared plus 10x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. So, divide natin. x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. Kung ano yung exponent ng quotient natin, itatapat natin doon sa ating dividend. Now, multiply natin. x squared times x. That is x cubed. Next, x squared times 3. Positive 3x squared. Ang ginagawa natin, sinusubtract natin. Subtract. So, cancel na yan. 6x squared minus 3x squared. So, ilas natin. That is 3x squared. Then, bring down natin si 10x. Divide tayo. 3x squared divided by 3. That is positive 3x. Katapat niya. Next, 3x times x. 3x squared. 3x times 3. Positive 9x. Then, subtract natin. So, cancel na ito. 10 minus 9, that is x. Bring down positive 3 x divided by x, that is 1, so plus 1. 1 times x, that is x. 1 times 3, positive. So, subtract natin ngayon, it'll give us 0. Alam nyo ba, meron tayong tinatawag na synthetic division. At yung synthetic division na ito, ay shortcut niyan. Okay. Shortcut ng ating long division. So, ang gagawin lang natin, yung ating divisor, equate natin sa 0. So, equate natin siya sa 0. So, x plus 3 equate to 0. Or equal to 0. Transpose 3. So, may aging x is equal to negative 3. X is equal to negative 3. So, kuhin natin itong negative 3 na yan. So, negative 3. Okay. Babalik na rin natin itong ating fraction. Fraction sign. Then, kapahin natin yung mga coefficient. Dito, meron tayo 1. Meron tayong 6. Meron tayong 10. At meron tayong 3. So, ang first step natin, bring down natin yung first coefficient natin. O, uh, leading coefficient natin. Ang leading dito is 1. So, bring down natin si 1. Next, si 1, i-multiply natin dun sa ating nagkong value ni x. So, 1 times negative 3, that is negative 3. Tama? Then, anong next? I-add natin ngayon. Kung doon, subtract, dito naman, add natin. So, 6 plus negative 3, that is positive 3. Next, 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. So, 10 plus negative 9, positive 1. 1 times negative 3, that is negative 3. Then, 3 plus negative 3 will give you 0. So, yung pinaka-last number na nakuha natin dyan sa process na yan, ito yung tinatawag natin na remainder. So, yung remainder natin. So, anong use ngayon nito? Ito na ngayon yung ating quotient. So, magiging 1x. Ano yung magiging exponent ni x? So, i-divide lang natin dun sa ating original Given. So, x cubed divided by x. Square na tayo ngayon. So, x squared. Kung anong sign nila, plus 3x plus 1. Since, hindi naman tayo naglalagay ng 1. 
Kasi understood na yun, pwede natin yung tanggalin. So ito na nga yun, yung ating coaching. So yan yung synthetic division. Uh, try pa natin ng examples. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 20x plus 3 divided by x minus 3. So i-check mo natin kung yung exponent ba natin ay nasa descending order. 3, 2, 1, then wala na tayong variable. So tama. So pag na-check na natin, yung ating denominator, equate na natin sa 0. So, si x minus 3, equate natin kay 0. So, ang x natin ngayon ay positive 3. So, diretso na topic, synthetic method. So, 3. Then, copy natin yung mga coefficient. We have 2, 1, negative 20, and positive 3. And then, yung process natin. Bring down the leading coefficient. So, bring down 2. 2 times 3. That is 6. Then, i-add natin. So, 1 plus 6. That is 7. 7 times 3. 7, 14, 21. 21. Negative 20 plus 21 that is 1 1 times 3 1 times 3 that is 3 then add that in 6 so ito yung yung, yung last na number natin yan yung tinatawag natin na remainder ok sulat natin yung ating quotient so we have the leading coefficient, which is 2, x, so we divide natin ngayon, x cubed divided by x, so our exponent niya ngayon is 2, plus 7, pababaling exponent natin, x, plus 1, wala na tayong variable, plus, meron tayong remainder. So the remainder over our divisor is, x minus 3. So, ito ngayon yung ating quotient. So, pwede po ninyo itry gamit ang long division. Paano pag ang given natin ay x cubed plus 512 divided by x plus 8? So, tingnan natin may igi yung ating numerator. x cubed na wala si x squared tsaka si x naging constant na kagad. So, i-write muna natin siya na dapat pare kumpleto yung ating variable. So, mangyayari, that is x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 512. Yan. Dapat kumpleto yung mga terms natin. Divided by x plus 8. Ayan. So, kompleto na, descending order, equate natin kay 0 yung ating denominator. So, x plus 8 is equal to 0. So, our x is equal to negative 8. Ayan. Then, gamitin natin si synthetic na ngayon. So, negative 8. Uh, then, we have Meron tayong numerical coefficient dyan na 1. Dito naman ay 0. Dito naman 0. Dito naman 500. So, then, bring down our leading coefficient, which is 1. 1 times negative 8, that is negative 8. So, add natin. 0 plus negative 8, that is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 8, that is 64. 0 plus 64, 64. Next, 64 times negative 8, 64 times 8, that is 8, 16, 24, 32, 2, carry 3, 
8 times 6, 8, 16, 24, 24 plus 24, 48, 49, 50, 51, so 512. Our sign will be negative. Bakit? Kasi positive times negative, negative. Then, add natin, definitely that is 0. So, ito ngayon yung ating remainder. So, ang quotient natin ay, meron tayong numerical coefficient na 1 dito, so magiging x. Divide natin, x cubed divided by x, so this will become square, minus 8x plus 64. This is now our quotient. May remainder tayo? Yeah. Ang remainder natin ay 0. Ganyan po si synthetic division. Madali lang ano. Compared naman sa long method. So, pwede ninyong itatay gamit ang long method.